Well, time now for our Ag Weekly Report, where we go from science to stones. Emily Griffin talks with a local jeweler who is growing their own diamonds. This baby is absolutely breathtaking. Dazzling diamonds of all shapes, sizes, cuts, and carrots flash in the displays at Kimberly Scott Creations in Watertown. Normally, a diamond like this one would take between one and three billion years to form in nature. But this is not an earth-grown diamond. It's lab-grown. A lab-grown diamond is a diamond. It's chemically, physically, optically, it's identical. Scott and Kimberly Brown are now two of only a few dozen jewelers in the nation to grow their own diamonds to sell directly. This is um, the bank of growing machines um, and this one right here is actually the Kimberly Scott growing machine. So how does it work? They actually take a microscopic seed of a natural diamond, place it in the grower, filter in carbon rich gas, and the carbon does what the carbon does with the right amount of heat and the right amount of pressure, it forms the crystal. They say this is the way of the future. Lab grown diamonds are more sustainable, more accessible, and make jewelry more affordable. It's eco friendly and it's budget friendly. It's hard not to say this is a good way to go. Lab grown diamonds are soon set to surpass earth grown diamonds for the engagement industry. The Browns say naturally grown gems will never disappear completely. But this way of cultivating jewelry is here to stay. Emily Griffin, 7 News.